the wall. Oh, good, you're in. Yeah, well, Oh, there you are. Hello, I'm, Hello. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, it's all right, it's all right. Right, as your elected chairman of this firework committee, I declare this meeting open. I think I couldn't open a bar, but it's out of ours. Well, Mum and Ethel want to come on the committee. Mum and Ethel? Yeah, Ethel reckons she wants to speak for the animals. What, like Dr. Doolittle? <laughs> yeah, yeah. She reckons she's already knitted Willie a pair of earmuffs and also advises your dad to do the same for Roly, shall we? Yeah, my dad isn't exactly world famous for his knitting, really. Well, I don't know why she's worried about Roly. His ancestors came through the Blitz. Excuse me, Mr. Chairman, have I wandered into an RSPC meeting? Because I thought this committee was set up to protect the kids on fireworks night, not the animals. Yeah, Andy's right. Now, shall we get on, please? Look, hang on, hang on. What do you want me to tell the ladies? They're waiting over there on the edge of their seats. With all due respect, Pete, but if Mum joins this committee, I'm going to resign. I mean, I have to listen to her laying down the law all day as it is. All right, fair enough. I'll tell them thanks, but no thanks. It's a pity, though. Don't you want to do their bit of well? I'd like to raise a couple of points, Mr. Yeah, Chairman. Yeah. Said, would you be prepared to give us a discount if we buy all our fireworks from you? Sure. And I'd only sell to people recommended by the committee. I'll have to check with the GLC, though, yeah? Something else we need to check with the GLC is posters. What, advertise how it will do, you mean? Why not? I thought we could stick up posters in here in the cafe, for starters. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Can't yeah. afford to pay for them, no? Yeah, but we could design our own. Yeah, we have to find some sort of dab amber paintbrush, though. Yeah. yeah. Who better than your dad, Kelvin? Well, well, you asking for yeah, us. Oh, well, they say if you want a job done well, go to the busiest man in town, oh, don't they? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure he'd help. Here, have you thought, where are we going to get the money to pay for all these fireworks? Now, if this was Scotland, you kids could go out guising a Halloween night. Guising? Yeah, you know, the old masks on, go and oh, get money. Oh, you know, like witches and all that. Yeah. Witches, that's no problem, is it? Albert Square's full of them. It's Doc Lou and Ethel for a start. <laughs> I can just imagine it. Hubble, bubble, tall and trouble, Lou and Ethel. <laughs> now, wait a minute, you mean to say you want Dot Lou and Ethel to dress up as witches <laughs> and go on a knocker? Oh, why not? They said they wanted to help. Oh. Yeah, well, they won't have to do that much dressing up, are they? Oh, yeah. I don't know. What do you think, Pete? Oh, they're just going to love this, aren't they? Mind you, not half as much as I am when I tell them. <laughs> good. We made good progress, haven't we? Said's going to give us cut price fireworks, your dad's going to do the posters, and Dot, Lou and Ethel are going to dress up as witches and haunt everybody, right. as usual. <laughs> <laughs> right. I declare this meeting closed. Come on. Right. Right. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'll get back to school. Yeah. Look, is uh, that right? I understand that you're thinking of selling the shop. All oh, right, I'll get it. Hello, Michelle. All right. Yeah, yeah I'm off. I'm just calling for Michelle. Oh, go on up. She's upstairs. Here, Ethel. You best get a move in a short get nicked. Oh, does that mean your father's going to get me arrested if I'm late for work? Which I am. No, nah, but your broomstick's parked on a double yellow line. Oh. <laughs> Highly comical, I must say. <laughs> <laughs>